Hi, my name is Gretchen LeCheminot, and I'm here from Texas. Today I'll be reading from The Diary of Anne Frank by Anne Frank. Last week, there was a brief interruption in our monotonous routine. This was provided by Peter and a book about women. I should explain that Margot and Peter are allowed to read nearly all the books Mr. Kleeman lends us, but the adults preferred to keep this special book to themselves. This immediately piqued Peter's curiosity. What forbidden fruit did it contain? He snuck off with it when his mother was downstairs talking and took himself and his booty to the loft. For two days, all was well. Mrs. Van Dan knew what he was up to, but kept mum until Mr. Van Dan found out about it. He threw a fit, took the book away, and assumed that would be the end of the business. However, he neglected to take his son's curiosity into account. Peter, not in the least phased by his father's swift action, began thinking of ways to read the rest of this vastly interesting book. In the meantime, Mrs. Van Dee asked Mother for her opinion. Mother didn't think this particular book was suitable for Margot, but she saw no harm in letting her read most other books. The reason I picked The Diary of Anne Frank was because I wanted to pick a book for my childhood that had uh, an extreme influence on me. I read Anne Frank when I was 14, and it taught me that I could be happy in spite of my circumstances. Um, and as an angsty 14-year-old, um, that was something that really changed the way that I thought and um, perceived life. Um, so I'm really grateful to Anne and her example and for her words.